pesticides or uh, you know, some uh, sprays which are used for the crops. So it is a very complicated study, complicated uh, subject and I definitely understand it's a very tough job for every one of you to zero down on what antidote to be given and uh, how is it to be treated. And uh, as a police officer, forensic medicine has been like a, a sister concern for us. So I can see a police officer in uh, every one of you because, you know, having interacted with police department, many of you have turned policemen um, in a way I can make out. So this is a very uh, useful conference, I would guess, because latest developments, latest uh, innovations, and the latest solutions which are found for various problems which are arising out of, uh, of late, maybe of drug overdose, uh, NDPS related uh, uh, deaths. I have observed some deaths due to drug overdose, I mean, narcotic drug uh, overdose also. So, I wish every one of you all the very best, and uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, every one of you are going to be enriching yourself post this two day session. So if there is any particular session where uh, you know it could be of some use to police officers also I would be happy to ask some of my officers and staff to come and participate in it. So I would have a discussion with the organizers. Thank you very much uh, once again for uh, inviting me to this huge uh, great Thank you sir for addressing the gathering. I now kindly request Dr. B. Suresh Kumar Shetty, Associate Dean and Professor, Department of Forensic Science, 16, 16th Annual Conference. Um, it's really amazing and uh, toxicology is one such thing where the adverse impact of toxins of various nature on the living uh, bodies, it may be human body or the animals. So it is going to be a very complicated study. Because two times I have faced this uh, uh, situation at my home. My brother is mentally retarded. When he was six months old, he fell off the cradle and uh, suffered any injury. And even today, his mental age is about six months old. So though he is about uh, 40 years now. So once it so happened, I was very young, like maybe 12 or 13 years. Because of drug overdose, so it is supposed to be an X and the overdose was up to 3X because my mother, sisters, two of the sisters unknowingly made it uh, consume the tablet because they thought other person might have not given the tablet. So it was 3X. Um, so for about 3-4 hours uh, you know, after that whole incident, he slept and he didn't get up. Generally he used to get up by about 8-9 uh, o'clock in the night and uh, he used to have food whenever my father used to come back home. But uh, he didn't take it, he didn't get up. And we could see that he's in a uh, very adversely bad sleep. Then when we went to hospital, that was the first instance where I saw how um, tox, uh, drug old, old dose through oral means is going to be treated. That was really scary. And the very first thing which uh, doctors asked was what was the tablet which was given to him. And another time, it so happened that, uh, you know, out of confusion, my mother consumed the tablet which my brother was supposed to do when I was SP Hawaii. Because, you know, she was uh, having some tablet for diabetes and other things. And he was sleeping when, or not available when uh, she opened the tablet for him. And by some minor confusion, uh, absent-mindedness, uh, made her consume that. And immediately she realized that she has consumed the wrong tablet. And suddenly her people shot up and became unconscious. So I had to like literally like take her to the local hospital, give her a first aid, and then she was shifted to down there. So again, there the basic question was what was the tablet which was taken? And uh, what is the duration of uh, exposure? And more so, I have witnessed many incidents where people commit suicide. Dedication, Kastuka Medical College, both Manipal and Mangalore are the best in giving quality medical education all over India. And it is our responsibility to see that whenever anything new comes, we deliberate. And this national conference gives a wider scope for us to discuss. Earlier, medical education was 
A teacher used to stand like a preacher, talk, go, and we used to say he's a good teacher. But there has been a paradigm shift now. It has moved from the teacher to the learner. We have to see that what the teacher has done a good job, whether the student has learned. Now, how do you assess this? The learning has to be assessed by competencies. And this is what is all these competencies put together will say that the student is competent enough in the field of forensic or whatever speciality is there. So this is very, very important because we have to talk of quality. We have to see that at the micro level, we all develop and when the end product, that's the candidate, the doctor coming out is competent because that is a big concern because now the quality is going down, the quantity is increasing. So somewhere this mechanism will check and see that competent doctors are because they are going to be uh, let they are going to be into society. So this is a very good platform, and I'm very happy that uh, Department of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology has taken this challenge of uh, deliberating on this, and I should compliment them. And aptly you have called the police commissioner because finally you deal most of the time with the police uh, 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 force and a lot of uh, I see the police vehicles coming regularly into our campus for different activities and it's all constructive okay that's a very good thing that's there and uh, I will not talk much because the next person I always dread to talk before or after him is a Virat Kohli so <laughs> he can do the slog over so over to <laughs> The presiding officer from the HS Bala. Thank you for your kind words, sir. I kindly request Dr. Hanel de Sousa. Which is code. So, naturally, I will try to live up to his expectations. I am very happy to be part of this uh, very important uh, All India Conference organized by the Indian Society of uh, Toxicology. The boss is there, Narendra Nath Gini. He spoke very high of our organization. Thank you very much. Because we always, you know, believe in quality, maintenance of quality. And the reason you said it's your first visit, you must make use of the best of your first visit. Spend some time, take some time off and come to our headquarters. That is Manipal. As I said earlier, seeing is believing. So I request our organizing committee people to make it see that these people, our delegates who have come from outside to visit Manipal campus. You know, Manipal campus is something unique. As I said, seeing is believing. I'm sure they will make arrangements. We'll be more than happy to have you here. Now, I should identify Dr. V. V. Pillay, who is responsible for, or for starting this special of uh, toxicology, which is an important part of uh, forensic medicine. See, when I was a student of, uh, in, in, in Mysore Medical College, I started in Government Medical College. ATS IAR used to be the head of forensic. Very, See, but the forensic medicine used not used to be that important, but he was such a dynamic person, you know, and he used to take a lot of interest in sports and games. See, I used to play a lot of games, and so we had a close rapport. That's how I came in close touch with him, and he was very, very popular. And that's how I could understand a little bit of forensic medicine. Today, forensic medicine is given a lot of importance. I am given to understand the government is planning to start a forensic university. Second, First, it's there in Gujarat, and uh, they are planning to start it in Karnataka. Our Home Minister, Jnanendra, made a statement the other day, they are looking for the, the location. It, that shows how much importance uh, they are giving for toxicology. And you have a very relevant chief guest today, our commissioner, big gun of uh, police of Mangalore, because forensic medicine, police department, as well as lawyers, they have to work together in solving many of the problems. Not necessarily the drug problems, many other the, 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 the crimes that happen in the society, cyber crimes, because you have to change with times, as I said, because today cyber crime is a major problem. Naturally, to identify that, you should be well versed with all these things. The whole purpose of this conference is to update yourself with the newer advances. Otherwise, you will be novices. Nobody will respect you. You have to change with times. And you have to teach the students of 21st century, like 21st century students, not like 18th or 19th century, like old blackboard teaching and all. So change is very important and teachers must change. At this uh, conference, I am given to understand the, the theme which is very important, toxicology in CBME, 
competence based medical education, the new curriculum, the Medical Council of India started, which I am going to understand as only said, very tough. So you have to adjust to that and see that the children are taught properly so that the due importance is given to toxicology. And uh, in Manipal, they held recently Simla. I was thinking when they said Simla, I was thinking whether it is a <laughs> summer resort, Simla. You know. Then they said, no, it is the South India Medical Legal Association conference we had recently organized by the Forensic Medicine Department of uh, KMC Manipal, which was very good. And uh, in 2018, they organized Karnataka Medical Legal Society conference at Manipal. Now, uh, Vinod Naik is there, my boss, he's a keen sports person, you know. He is a senior professor in in, in uh, community in uh, forensic medicine at Manipal. Pradeep is there, boss of uh, the Devaraj University of Kerala, the Kola. He was with us as the dean of KMC Manipal and also a forensic medicine professor. Now, they have organized this conference. They have created a crime scene, you know, where uh, these forensic medicine people, the police and the lawyers, these are important, you know, so that crime can be detected early. For that, all of them have to work together as a team. Then only things can be resolved very fast. So it's very important that forensic medicine should involve police department as well as the legal department so that the people get the justice. See, justice delayed is justice denied, they say. They must get it early. So that's the reason why we have all these conferences and I am very happy that our uh, Forensic Medicine Department of KMC Mangalore under the leadership of Pratik Prastogi have organized this uh, conference and I am happy that more than 150 delegates I am given to understand across the country are participating in this program. I extend a warm welcome to all the delegates who have come from outside Mangalore. I wish you a happy stay. Make the best use of these conferences and take back, take back the sweet memories of your short stay here in Mangalore. I wish this conference every success. Thank you very much for your Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring words. I request Dr. Pawan Chand Shetty, Associate Professor, Department of Forensic.